I think systems biology will impact everyday life in the next 20 years, firstly, by contributing to the development of more effective and cheaper drugs. Second is I think we'll see systems biology contributing uh, both in the energy space as well as the material space. So what we're seeing is an increased interest in using microbes to convert different biomass into energy, as well as using microbes to produce interesting new materials, which I think will become more and more prevalent in everyday items, whether it be clothing or household items, uh, such as um, uh, basically recyclable plastics or bioplastics. So uh, there is interest now in re-engineering microbes so that uh, on the material space that you could utilize different properties within them to produce materials with new properties themselves. And so, for example, there are pathways that can produce precursors to bioplastics. And uh, these pathways are quite difficult to actually get to work in vitro outside the cell. But we're now seeing that it's possible to re-engineer organisms like E. coli to actually bring in foreign pathways that allow them to convert something like glucose or sunlight actually into a precursor for a plastic product. Similarly, on the energy side, we're seeing that people are now looking at metabolic pathways and regulatory pathways to see if we can rewire bacteria to either convert, for example, cellulose into something like butanol or ethanol, or to better capture sunlight to produce hydrogen or biodiesel. And in each of these cases, systems biology is being used in order to gain insight into the actual wiring and functioning of the cell and coupling that with more traditional efforts in bioengineering, chemical biology, and chemical engineering to kind of push the organism to do things better and cheaper.